What up, though? It's your boy! Kevin the Bat, Tyrus. No bull, just bulk, baby. Welcome, one and all, to this very special and brand new launched edition of Summer Sizzle. It's a herbivore thing. Because I've had an enormous amount of requests from my, some of my subs uh, asking me for vegan recipes, I have decided, even if it was just one of you, but it has been a uh, pretty nice size amount of my subs that uh, make comments and ask me if my recipes have alternatives or, or if they are vegan friendly. Because of that, I have decided to go ahead and add a vegan style summer sizzle to the repertoire of what we already do because I like to cater to all of my subscribers and supporters no matter what your nutritional lifestyle is, no matter where you stand on this, this really isn't a debatable topic. It's just a choice of lifestyle. And because you support me and what I'm doing in my journey, I have decided to support you and what you do in your journey. And I might learn something along the way as well. I'm not saying that I do totally agree with their, uh, with some, not all, with some of their extreme uh, viewpoints as far as trying to get their point across, but I do understand where they're coming from. And because your boy love all y'all, and I'm down with anybody that's down with this life, and they're about this life, and they're trying to change their lifestyle for the better, I'm down with you. So, having said that, welcome to the first of many to come. Summer says, vegan is a herbivore thing. We about to get this thing. Lego! Queen City, which you know I rep Queen City all day, 51 Trey, we in the building. I had to go on here and rep my reds, baby. You know how I get down. Now, what we are making for you today is a very healthy, I'm telling you, man, this shit is healthy, man. Five grams of protein per bite, not per bite, but per meatloaf bite. What we are making for you today is meatloaf bites with a homemade vegan style Worcestershire sauce. This is going down and it's gonna be off the hook. And I will have all the ingredients and the macros in the description box below. Stay tuned, man. Stage one of how to prep this meatloaf is next. We about to get this thing. Let's go. All right, squad, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do, you don't want to have a dry meatloaf, all right? So in order to keep this meatloaf from being dry, these patties or, or these meatloaf bites, we're going to have to make that homemade vegan style Worcestershire sauce. And this is what we're going to use. We're going to have apple cider vinegar. We will also have a gluten-free uh, soy sauce. You're gonna add brown sugar, light brown sugar. French's yellow mustard. Water. And you're gonna add all your spices. This is all spice, ground cinnamon, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, and ground ginger. Once you have all that in your bowl, you wanna whisk it. All right, folks, now that we got that whisk together, we're gonna set this to the side and get started on our meatloaf. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, now we're getting ready to make our meatloaf bites. But before that, we wanna go ahead and preheat this oven to 350 degrees. Okay, now, now that we have that, let's go ahead and make this meatloaf. 
And I know you was probably saying, how the hell is you gonna make a meatloaf and you ain't got no meat down? I'm about to show you right here. What you're gonna need, red kidney beans. Once you get the kidney beans in, you just wanna mash them up. Once you have those masks, you want to mix mixed uh, vegetables frozen. You want ketchup and mustard. You also want to mix some of your homemade Worcestershire sauce. Then you want to add your spices. There's Italian seasoning in here, garlic powder, chili powder, and onion powder you want to mix this all together. Once you have that all mixed together to make it thick, you want to add oatmeal. And these are instant oats. And mix that together. Alright guys, next thing you want to do, make sure that you have a muffin tin. Just go ahead and drop these in your muffin tin. guys now that you got that stuff we're gonna stick this in the oven for 20 minutes and then we're gonna come right back and make a quick gravy that goes right over top gonna be off the yes sir stay tuned man because you know how we do all right guys uh, the first thing that we got the next thing that we have to do actually is most of you guys are used to having some sort of like ketchup gravy or ketchup sauce on your meatloaf so because of that we're going to make a homemade vegan style uh, gravy that goes over top of this meat, these meatloaf bites and this is what you're going to do you're going to heat up a pan you're going to get nutritional yeast and flour just mix these in, a, in the uh, pan and you just want to whisk these together for about three to four minutes alright guys now that you have this uh, somewhat toasted what you want to do is transfer this to a pot very simple alright then you want to add garlic powder and onion powder that soy sauce that we have and vegetable broth stir this all together get it combined Once you have this all combined, turn up your heat, bring it to a boil, and let it thicken. Once that thickens, we'll get ready to combine all this together and have that final product review. It's going down, man. You know how we do that grand finale. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> back folks this is <laughs> the grand finale what you see in front of you my friends your boy has done it again I'm jumping on the vegan train so I can make some vegan games <laughs> yo it's going down man this shit is good, man. Listen to what I have to say. I don't want my normal, my my constituents, my hardcore base been riding with me for a long time. I don't want y'all to freak out, man. Cause your boy is always gonna be 100. Always remember this, man. I'm always gonna be true to who I am. 
regardless of what fad come along, regardless of what platform is other people are taking, I'm always going to be 100 with me. But I support you guys, man. And because you asked me, I brought this to you to let you know I ride with you. And if it's healthy and it does me some benefit, you best believe damn well I'm going to look into it. I will never present you with something that I think is garbage. And my friends, whether you vegan, whether you are a herbivore, or whether you are a carnivore, let me tell you right now, this will benefit you 100 fold, man. This shit is good, it's easy to cook, it tastes phenomenal, and we about to dive right in. Let's see what we got. As you can see, we have a regular meatloaf with that quick ketchup gravy that I made, and then we have an alternative with just regular ketchup on it. Some of you guys are used to that. Some of you are not. This is sugar-free ketchup. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive right in and see what we see. If it's not good, I'm going to tell you it tastes like shit. But if it's off the hook, I'm going to let you know it's off the hook. It smells phenomenal. Here we go, man. Let's dive right in. Which one should I take, T? Ketchup or gravy? You like ketchup. You ketchup. I love ketchup. So let's dive right in here. It's really soft, nice and moist. And to be perfectly honest with you guys, it really does smell like a black bean burger. If you have ever had one of those, that's exactly what this smells like. As you can see, we got the veggies in there, black beans, all healthy, plant-grown products, uh, organic. These, there's no, no meat products in here whatsoever, all right? And it's extremely healthy. Each one of these has six grams of protein uh, per bite, all right? so. Let's go ahead and taste test this and see if it uh, holds up to the hype. Smell test, phenomenal. Here we go. I The ketchup joint is off the hook too? Oh, man, damn, that's almost as good as a gravy joint. Oh, get some of that carrot on that joint right there. Some of that parts right though. Remember that. It's on everything I love, homie. Whether y'all, whether you agree with vegans or whether you don't, it behooves you to keep an open mind, man. Do not take the extremism of one individual and blanket categorize all of them as extremes because that's not fair. <clears throat> it's not fair to them and it's not fair to you simply because this shit right here is beneficial, it's healthy, and it tastes phenomenal. All right, <clears throat> I just proved it to you. It's off the hook. This is not gonna be the last uh, vegan meal that I, that I cook. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go on statements. I'm gonna go on camera and make this statement right now. I am going to do a full day of eating, vegan style. Please believe it, stay tuned for that, man. I'm done with this, man, it's off the hook. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed that. To all my vegan subs out there, I hope I did you justice. Please stay tuned, man, because I got more that's coming for you. I love y'all, man. Mad support for every one of y'all, man. It's your boy, Kevin the Vectoris. No bull, just buck, baby. That is your final product right there. Meatloaf bites with homemade gravy. Only your Taurus fix. Summer sizzle. Vegan. It's a hunger for thing. And now, man. Get out.